to the players going through the formalities with the court officials. We'll do the cross first. Uh, no, this head. Did it stay Head. Boot then Horombek. It's tail. The umpire for this one. So Lee Chong Wei. Well, 30 years of age. But I have to say, I see no decline in his standard of play. There's an awful lot of talk in sport about the big 3 0 when you reach the age of 30. How it's the beginning of the end. No sign of it as far as I can see. Number one world ranking, win loss record for the year, 9 and 0. And that means that the two previous Super Series tournaments that he's played this year, he's won them both, the Korean Super Series and the Malaysia. And for those of you that are thinking, why only 9 and 0 when you've got to win five matches to win a Super Series event, a draw of 32, of course. I can tell you it's because he only had to play four matches to win the Malaysian Open because the second round got a walkover from Boon Sakpon Sani. Well, his match yesterday against Wong Wong Ki of Hong Kong was an absolute thriller. We were sort of stunned silence when he dropped the opening game, 13-21. And having lost that opening game, he's promptly won 15 straight points to run to a 15-love lead. He actually saved three match point, two match points in that deciding game. So to his opponents, the 23-year-old from Guangdong province, in southern China, who of course was the world junior champion back in 2008 when the world junior championships were staged in India. First round losses in his first two tournaments of the year. So his first round win against AJ Jayaram from India, which he needed three games to win, was the first match he's won this year. In fact, it's the first match he had won since reaching the final of the China Super Series event in November last year. So a welcome return to form for Wang Xiaoming. So Li Chong Wei who's reached the final of this tournament for the last four years trying to continue that good run and that statistic will give him every confidence that he can certainly get through this match the last time they played was in the first round of the korean super series event the first super series of 2013. that incidentally was the only time in the previous meetings so that the match has gone the full distance gone to three games so Bert van Horenbeck our umpire and Ian Spear our service judge ladies and gentlemen on my right Wang Jingming China on my left, Lee Chong Wei, Malaysia. <laughs> Lee Chong Wei to serve. Love Hall. Blake. So the world number one, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia. I suspect that we might see a more intense Lee Chong Wei today than we witnessed yesterday when he was playing against Wong Wing Ki from Hong Kong. This is his All England Championship and he does have a very, very fine record here. Previous nine occasions he's played this tournament. He's reached at least the semi-final seven times. Three, no. Tesu Bok on the left as we look at them. Rashid Sadek on the right, the Malaysian coaching staff. Yeah. Difficult to know, Anthony, how a match 
like yesterday's against the Hong Kong player, how it will affect Lee Chong Wei, whether he bounces back and says, OK, well, I've, I've come through, I've saved two match points in that opening round, that survived a scare, I'm going to be a different player today, or do you lose a bit of confidence, the fact that he obviously wasn't on his best form? I think it can go both ways, can't it? Knowing Lee Chong Wei for three. many, many years... I've often seen him lose the opening game in a tournament, but can't say I've ever seen him, you know, be match point down in the first round for many, many years. So he may well have lost a bit of confidence. This is a difficult arena to play in, and you need, a, you know, a comfortable first round to, to really, you know, gel with the tournament. Oh, it's call cool good, I have to say. Five, two. Lee Chong Wei didn't like the call, and my immediate reaction was I had some sympathy for that. Mm. Second game. of course, can only overrule a line judge if he sees that a clear error has been made. And he must overrule the one at the yeah, It just seems slightly hesitant to me, the Malaysian. Six, hesitant in two, his movement, hesitant in his decision making. It certainly doesn't look like he's into a full flow at all at the moment. He's a very, very strong physical player. And very strong legs. Has a great defence. And Chong Wei, you know, really is always taking on all the Chinese. So he knows he needs to produce his best almost every single round. It's quite a, a difference though, when you look at Three, career six. statistics between these two players. Wang uh, Chiming never one, won a title three. throughout his career so far. He's 23 years of age. He's been in five finals. I can tell you that Li Chong Wei has been in 70 seven, finals, seven, three. winning 46 of them, 30 of them four, Super Series one. titles. That is just phenomenal. Just wide. Eight, three. Third four call. Turn it up. Five. Yeah, good call. Six, three. Oh, that's a lovely disguise. Drop shot. Four, six. Serves over. Four, eight. It's lovely to see Chong Wei when he is in full flow. Five, he leaps back six. with such explosive power. And he does have a really soft touch. He rotates his fingers across the handle of the racket, which enables the shuttle to go so quickly down cross. Oh, and that's the sort of very uncharacteristic movement from Lee Chong Wei. How often do you see him normally? Get left stranded, moved in the wrong direction, hesitant to anticipate. Of course, an awful lot happening in his life at the moment. The happy event of getting married at the end of last year, 10th of November. He and his wife expecting their first child. Next shot. 
<coughs> Bitty start to the game from Lee Chung Wei. With some points, he looks in full flow. And the very next point, it's almost like his feet are stuck in mud. Which, like you said, you know, very uncharacteristic from somebody like Chung Wei. like he's just trying to play a more simple game stroking the shuttle around finding his range and we spoke earlier about the drift and being able to deal with it I think he's starting to find that ability to keep the shuttle within the court yeah. Seven, nine. can't help but think back to his match last night so Anthony, I'm not sure you were here for it, but he actually did better from this end of the court. So, if this is his very favoured end, i slightly concerned for the Malaysian fans. That's a super smash, isn't it? Good use of the body smash. Used a lot in doubles, but not so much in singles, but it is very effective. Seven, two, seven, well, a four-point advantage for Wang Xiaoming. His coach, talking to him, of course, former world champion. Won his world title in this very arena. Well, they seem pretty happy with him. Court one, twenty seconds. Can't help but wonder whether Li Chong Wei is hundred percent fit because it's so unlike him. We haven't seen any of his explosive, dynamic, attacking style so far in this match. And his movement has been a little suspect. Such a gentleman, such a, a sportsman, you certainly wouldn't complain about it or moan about it beforehand. You wouldn't make excuses. Came out quick in that rally, Jill. That was more like the explosive movement round the head. So quick coming in. You know, we set such high standards for Lee Chung Wei with his movement. You know, he's diving around the court, getting down to the defensive shots, and then he springs back up into a, an overhead. You know, we have to realise that some days the legs are a little tired, a bit more emotional some days than others. Great judgment. 9 9-11. 15-10. Definitely seem to have stepped up a gear since the change. Just reeled off three points on the trot. Oh, that's nice. That's a couple of times he's made that angled smash across court and made an outright winner from it. Twelve, Great technique overhead. Really reaching up to the shuttle as he hits it to make the angle even steeper. But even with a slice on the shuttle, he's bringing it down at such power. 
Goodness me. Absolutely pounced on that net shot. Well taken. Well controlled. Just indicating to the umpire that he wants the court mopped of the perspiration. You see a player forced to turn and play the high backhand in the singles. You know the player is in trouble. 11, Just over 146 miles per hour. Just to put that into perspective, the fastest serve in the recent Australian Open tennis was 2.11 from Andy Murray. Oh, what reactions. Well, he'd used the body smash before at Wang Shaming. This time, Liu Chong Wei was able to get it back and deal with it. And that's what's so good about Lee Chong Wei. The ability to say, OK, my opponent's caught me out with something. I'm not going to let that happen again. I'm looking for it next time. Well, since the break, he really has turned this game around. 14, Upped his pace a little bit. And sometimes takes a few points in a match to realise what your opponent's going to do. You know, they're going to have watched videos of you playing and try and find your weaknesses. I think John Wei's such a clever player that He's using those opening points 15, to try and discuss the tactics with his coach as well at the back. And since the change at the break, he's got all the answers. Into the last 10 points, going the Malaysians' way. Oh, that one's called cool there. Didn't like the previous call. Fourteen, fifteen. Thirty, nine. Yeah, good call. Serve is over. Rather slack over head for the Chinese player. Can get his body in position. Perfection on the next shot from Li Chong Wei. Shuttle hit the top of the tape and just rolled over, making it so difficult for his opponent to control. in the control at the front of the court. Early stages, I thought it was Wang Jiaming who was getting the better of the Malaysian. That has definitely changed. Service over. Uses the power 15, smash 18. down the line this time. I definitely think the Chinese player is playing 
downwind almost. The drift coming towards Lee Chong Wei and those power smashes really are making a dent. So used to seeing Chong Wei diving to the side to get those back. You must expect him to make every single shot every single time. Two smashes straight 60. down the line from Wang Shiming. And Lee Chong Wei was waiting for them. And all of a sudden, the Chinese player thinks he's got to find the line. Got to hit the perfect shot. And that's when he starts making the errors. Oh, clever. Very, very clever. From the world number one. Oh, what a lovely way to bring up game points. 20, game point 16. He's played so many beautiful net shots. He addresses the shuttle early, the little hold and flick. And the outright winner. Four game point opportunities. Oh. Mm, it's just long. Observer. 17, 20. 19, 40. This time. Second time of asking in the opening game, 21-17. Of course, sluggish start by the world number one and former champion Lee Chong Wei. 21-17 in 18 minutes of play. That was wonderful reactions, wasn't it? Turned his whole body, contorted himself to get out of the way of the flight of the shuttle. Gave himself the freedom to play the shot. So agile. Well, I have to say, Li Chong Wei looked very relaxed in that timeout between the first and the second game. Not only talking to his coach, but he had a little word with the umpire, a little smile. Seconds. And perhaps one, he's just settled seconds. the nerves after taking that opening game, 21-17. I suppose the big problem, Anthony, as far as the Chinese player is concerned, when you've lost to this opponent six times out of six times game. played, I suppose the coach, the one thing he's got to do is try and lift the spirits and sort of say, look, you can do it. It, it is possible. These are the tactics you've got to employ, but it's tough. Men's singles is such a strong event throughout the whole draw. You know, there are no easy games. And we don't think Chong Wei's at the top of his game, and yet he's still able to beat an opponent 21-17 in the opening game. It must be very frustrating because 
when the man's on form, he just doesn't possess many weaknesses. Service over. Well, One all. Amazing coach, you smile at their man. Oh, what a good call. That was plum on the line. Oh, I'm just getting carried away with myself seeing that again because, of course, it was called out. Well, there you go. Technology and badminton. That's what we need. And it's on the way. Right. Brilliant. BWF, Badminton World Federation, Two, have one. said that we are going to have technology involved in the future on these line calls. Keep me in my place anyway, won't it? It's really difficult at times for our own person. They're sitting such a long way away from the court, and the actual cork of the shuttle is what counts as in. You know, it's only the cork that counts, and when they're such a long way away, it's a very thin line to look at. And certainly with the speeds that these shots are coming down at. Over. Two, well, there's a little sign there that Wang Zhemeng is beginning to get a little frustrated. A little bit cross with himself. Five, four. Oh, that's nice. Five, Slightly short lift Three, from John Wei. Not finding the very back line. He's got such explosive power off the ground. Yeah. This is a very powerful smash. Oh, there you go. It's the line judge looking down the line. Well, yeah, it was in. Missed that one, Kate. Service over. Three. All. Two. Five. <sighs> that really is sensational. Four. Three. Ch shuttle was still in its tumble, I think. Yeah, it was. He just almost puts a little top spin on that to guide it across court. And he just took a bit of pace off that one. Going for precision rather than power. Two twenty six. Service over. Oh, I think quite a simple oh, error there fire. from Lee Chung Wei. He does like to make his opponents hit a lot of smashes. Usually reads them well. He got there nice and easy. Just couldn't find the court. Just wide. Serves over. Six. Four. Has played some lovely net shots. Lee Chung Wei finding the top of the net cord. So difficult to lift a shuttle that's toppled over. It spins in a peculiar way. And very difficult to lift the shuttle in a straight line. Seven, four. 
has pushed it long. You can't afford to make errors on the return of serve. Not against a world number one. I think Lee Chung Wei's got him scared in and around the net. He's shown a couple of deceptive, tricky shots. There we go again. Interesting, I was watching that rally who retires to any attacking shot that Wang Jiming was hitting at Lee Chong Wei. And every single time the shuttle was coming down at Lee Chong Wei, he tried to turn the shuttle across court. Well, he is quite a big player for a singles player. Yeah. Chong Wei is around about 62, 63 kilos and a much lighter man. So, you know, the bigger player does struggle to twist and turn. It's obviously a tactic that they've been discussing in the breaks. So reserve up, nine, five. his opponent do that a couple of times to him in the opening game Five. yeah anything you can do it's, it's all part of the mind games isn't it it's such a deceptive shot as well Jill Lee Chung Wai can play the reverse Very slice down the line as well so he keeps his Six, opponent guessing ten. approval from Five, James seven, seven, ten. He really is doing his best to take the game to Lee Chung Wei. Trying to just possess that little bit more class, a little bit more quality in and around the net. Service over first, seven, seven, interval. Well, in the opening game, there was a four-point deficit as far as Lee Chong Wei was concerned at the mid-game interval. Here in the second game, it's a four-point advantage. Mm. Well, not that I understand any Mandarin, but certainly from the gestures there, I suggest that the Chinese coaches were saying that you've got to give yourself more time if you're lifting. Lift it a bit higher, get yourself set in the base position, and then you move. At the moment, you're trying to hit a little too flat, and therefore you're not really ready for the attacking shot. Let's see. Here's the cross again. Definitely his best weapon so Eight, far in this 11. match. The straight smash down the line to Chong Wei's forehand. Serves over. Yeah, well, he hit it long the right time, but I do think he gave it more air. Dilemma for opponents of Lee Chong Wei, though, isn't it? I mean, if you play back to the net, 
you're in danger of that happening. If a lift to the back of the court, then Lee Chong Wei has so much deception, as you were saying, overhead and such good attacking shots. What do you do? Well, if we had the answer to that, we'd probably be able to coach world number ones. It is a very difficult one, Joe. You know, Jeremy really is playing a good match. Nine. 13. But it is the key. The net is the key at singles. And if you give Chong Wei the time to play those early spinning net shots that go very, very close to the net, it makes it very, very difficult to then lift a very good length. That's why he's world number one. Four. 10, 13. I really do think there's only one player in the world that can beat Lee Chong Wei out the net, and that is Lin Dan. Oh, beautiful deception again. Oh my goodness! That's oh, just long. Excellent rally. 11.13. Wipe cool, please. 15, 11. Cool, mopped of the perspiration. This match already in progress, 32 minutes. so far along of the back line just got drawn into the flat fast exchanges from the back of the court. Rush forward knew that the reply had to be straight and back to the net. And Lee Chong Wei was ready and waiting. Look at that. 2.40. That's his fastest of the day. 149 miles per hour. Such accuracy down the line. The thing that concerns me with Zhang Ming is he doesn't have the reverse slice with really soft skills. So he can become perhaps predictable. That's the difference. Chong Wei possesses every shot that you could want. Service over. 16-12. Rally the hold and push down the backhand side there, the hold and push to his opponent's forehand corner. It's obviously a tactic he's wanting to employ those crosses when his opponent's hitting straight, he's hitting cross. That short. Oh, good guess. Over. 13, he got a bit annoyed with himself during that rally. He played the wrong shot on the first slice. See the replay. I think he just thought, I'm going to bury this one. 
Missed by a long way. away from a place in the third round. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh that's a couple of mistimed overheads. Yeah, looks up towards so the lights. Fifteen nineteen. He's so used to seeing these jump smashes down the line go on the floor. Wasn't expecting to have to play one more. Shows the defensive skills of his Chinese opponent. He still trails by four. Mm. Oh, it worked in the opening game, that body smash. 19. at the net from Chong Wei. There's domination around the net in this match. Well, Lee Chong Wei was asking the umpire if he could have the court mopped of the perspiration and but then Horenbeck said no, play on. Oh. Each way now wants the shuttle changed. There from coach TC Rock. Match point 18. Two match point opportunities for a two time former champion. Short. Yeah. It's one of them well saved. Third over. 
Leach or why not ready? Long Shaming will have to serve again. And this time, Lee John Way converts. Cool as you like. Thanks his fans here at the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham. And he does have many fans here, I can tell you. 21 17, 21 19. Yeah, coach happy with that. Match won by Lee Chong Wei, 21-17, 21-19. So two straight games. And Lee Chong Wei through to the quarter-final. Oh, started a little bit tentatively, but in the end, it really looked very impressive. So Lee Chong Wei safely through to the quarter-final stage. We don't yet know who he will play tomorrow. It'll either be the number eight seed Tianmin Nguyen of Vietnam or Saurabh Verma of India. So that's the top quarter of the draw. And the next match on court is men's doubles and the qualifiers. Robert Blair from Scotland and Tan Bin Sheng from Malaysia up against the number four seeds Kanichi Hayakawa and Hiroyuki Indo. So there, the mixed nationality pair of Robert Blair, 31 years of age, born in Edinburgh, now lives in Glasgow, and Tan Bin Sheng. World ranking up four places to number 65 in the world. Two tournaments towards that world ranking. And you can see prior to this tournament, they haven't won a match all year. Lost in the first round of both the Korean and Malaysian Super Series events and also lost in the first round of the qualifying of the German Grand Prix last week. So this a huge leap forward. And there you can see there qualifying matches 
it was actually qualifying in the first round against the English pair and then second qualifying match against the Belgian pair and then the first round not the quarter-final, but the first round against Alvin Gulianto, Chandra and Marcus Kido of Indonesia. Indo Indonesian pair, of course, uh, highly rated with Marcus Kido, the former World and Olympic champion. Three games to come through that one. So there you can see Kenichi Hawakawa on the left as we look at them and Hiroyuki Endo Hayakawa. 26 years of age, so he will turn 27 next month. Endo, 26, born in Saitama, in the suburbs of Tokyo. And as you can see, number four in the world ranking. They have actually been as high as three. They spent a couple of weeks at the beginning of this year at number three, the highest ever in the world ranking. Well, their first round match against more